Good morning! We are spending a week living with the GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate, the top tier luxury SUV for the GMC brand that really closes the gap with the Cadillac Escalade and in certain ways I think actually may exceed it slightly. We got to see this when it first came out at the design studio, but now we are spending a whole week living with the Yukon Denali Ultimate to see what it's like. So right there parked in the driveway is the Denali Ultimate which brings Vader Chrome trim. So instead of the big red GMC badge, they call this Vader Chrome around the front, which gives it a really classy and more aggressive look to it. Also unique wheels. We'll get really in depth to the exterior. This paint color is pretty awesome. And the interior is gonna be one of the highlights. Really nice materials, some nice tech. Also, you see that right there? That means this has Super Cruise. And just so nice materials like the topographical map on this nice leather. All right, let's get ready to go. Whoever drove this before me was not as tall as I am because my head is literally in the ceiling. So go ahead, set everything up, and we gotta head off to work. We've got wireless CarPlay set up, ready to go. Lock my phone and put it on the wireless charger right there. Nice center console. Also, this has so much real wood trim. You can feel it's the open pour exposed wood trims. You can feel the texture. It's so nice. And this is the transmission selector. Reverse. Overhead view camera. Backup camera, of course. All the latest tech and nice features. And off we go. Remote start of the Yukon from inside to get a little bit of that rumble, that 6.2 liter V8. We are heading downtown for the auto show for a couple days, so an overnight bag. This is the amount of trunk space you have with the third row up. So the third row of the seats are up. Also, it's important to note, every single row gets this really nice brown leather, actual genuine leather on all three rows of the Denali. We can fold seats down back here with the buttons. We have quad exhaust tips back here, which are pretty cool. I think that is unique to the Denali Ultimate here. Same thing on the front. You see the badges are blacked out. It already got a little bit salty, so that's a bummer. But Yukon, Denali Ultimate. This paint color is pretty cool. Better look at those wheels. They're like this machined and two-tone finish. Unique. These are 22s, I think. And they don't look insanely gigantic. That's how big vehicles are getting these days. These are 22-inch wheels. One thing you will see that is the Denali badges are still chrome. Some of the surround is still chrome, but the front is Vader chrome, right? So that's kind of the darked out chrome trim which I think looks a lot classier. Personally, I wish they would have just merged it along the entire vehicle so it all gets that kind of more stealthy treatment. So you still see there's quite a bit of tr uh, chrome trim all over the vehicle. That's a personal preference kind of thing. The interior of this Yukon Denali is seriously impressive. Just the details, the materials, all of it come together so well. And I love the startup sequence, so cool. Topography that fades in really nice. Go ahead, start her up. We have heated steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats. Seats are massaged. There's the button, uh, this one right there, that little circle button that's your massage seats. They're great. Yeah. We're gonna spend so much more time going through this interior. I've already mentioned a couple things, but we also have a wireless phone charger here. That nice wood trim. Off to work and then downtown and we'll catch up with you guys in a moment. Let's take a look at the window sticker before we get too far into the video. It's a 2023 Yukon Denali Ultimate. The exterior is titanium rush metallic over Alpine Umber 6.2 V8 with a 10 speed and it's really really well equipped as stock as a top tier Denali Ultimate. So we have things like magnetic ride control, the air suspension, we have an 18 speaker Bose sound system, we have all the touch screens, wireless car play, 16 way front power seats with massage, and again leather over everything, all the lights, that type of stuff. So as Standard, the vehicle is 93255 and the two options include Super Cruise at $2,200, the exterior paint of Titanium Rush Metallic at $495, plus, uh, let's see, delivery, destination, all of that type of stuff, $97,745, so just under one hundred k as optioned. And that's what happens with a lot of these top-tier models. They just have everything 
as standard. They're already pretty much fully loaded. You see there, that's Super Cruise. So Super Cruise is really handy because on a supported map road, we can go hands-free, still paying attention, and you just sit here, and this has the enhanced, like, fancy Super Cruise, where it'll do lane changes by itself. It'll pass people by itself. So with that, let's head downtown, because we have the Chicago Auto Show tomorrow. Oh, and of course, some massage seats. First priority, get in the car, turn on massage seats, always. So watch the digital dash. I have cruise control enabled, and I'm pulling onto a freeway, which should be mapped and supported, and you'll see the Super Cruise icon show up in a moment. Just like that, you see that little steering wheel pop up? So once that pops up, that indicates that this road is mapped. And I'm gonna go ahead and press that, and everything turns green, it's reading, Super Cruise is enabled, and I just have to sit here, pay attention, not point the camera. There we go, my eyes are watching the road. See, that's the important thing, your eyes have to stay watching the road. It is hands-free, and everything stays green here, but it is, it is actually monitoring you. There is a, a time window at which you can like briefly look to the side or something, but if you're not paying attention, Super Cruise will warn you, it will disengage, so make sure you are paying attention. With that, we're gonna let Super Cruise take over as we head downtown. Hopefully the traffic isn't too bad. Hopefully, 46 minute drive. Approaching downtown Chicago, you can see the skyline out there. Super Cruise has been handling everything fine, making lane changes, handling the traffic, all the turns. It's been great. You can also watch, I can initiate a automated lane change or it does it on its own. Sometimes if it sees a gap, it will go for it all on its own. I wonder if it's gonna change right. There's a gap as I pass that car there. I may not, it may be happy to stay here, but if I indicate right, it'll auto lane change for me. Finish the lane change, turn signal turns off, and we can accelerate up to the gap. Pretty awesome. If it detects lower moving traffic up front, it'll check for a gap, signal, vibrate the seat to tell me, and go for a lane change. It's pretty awesome. This is a nice thing about something like Super Cruise. I still enjoy driving, but traffic is never fun. This is not the enjoyable part of driving. Doesn't matter what you're in, could be a Bugatti, and traffic is still not enjoyable. But it means that when I see red on the Google Maps of an accident and there's traffic, whatever, I'm not really that concern or stress. I'm just going to sit back here, enjoy the massage seats and let the vehicle take care of itself. That's where I think these semi-autonomous kind of assistant systems are. Oh, see, so just did that. It detected slower moving up front and wants to make a lane change, a vibrated signal on all on its own, completely on its own. I didn't do anything. Pretty awesome. Last time I was in this garage, I had a Ford Raptor and uh, it didn't really fit. This, while big, I think fits. Yep. All right. Yukon. Denali is a big SUV, but somewhat manageable. This is not an XL though. XLs are even bigger. Those are the long wheelbase ones, right? The stretched ones. Time to find a parking spot and check in. Drive was not that bad. We have 360 overhead view cameras, all sorts of different camera angles. That makes parking much easier. And there's actually a button right here. It says 360 with a little camera icon. By pressing that, it just immediately pulls up the cameras, which is also very convenient. With that, we have arrived downtown. Plenty of activities planned for the Chicago Auto Show. We're gonna be filming some videos. We're leaving the Yukon Denali Ultimate parked here, and we'll pick this video back up in about a day or so. Busy last two days finishing up everything for the Chicago Auto Show. We are now heading back up to the suburbs, which means back into the Yukon Denali Ultimate. Made it back to the office. Super Cruise handled pretty much the entire freeway drive. There were a couple exceptions with lane changes, exit lanes for sure. And honestly, the big one was other vehicles on the road, other trucks, semi trucks, other regular vehicles, and their unpredictability. Sometimes a vehicle leaning a little too close, coming maybe into the lane or unexpected lane changes. And I think that's gonna be the biggest problem as we have an adoption between these semi-autonomous or just regular assisted hands-free systems and still having conventional older vehicles being completely operated driven by a human is that interaction where it's not always controlled, it's not always predictable. I think that's the only issue. Otherwise, I mean, how do I massage seats going? Listen to a couple of podcasts. It was nice, easy drive, no traffic, pretty much no traffic for leaving downtown. With that, we're gonna go in, finish up a day of work, and we'll pick this back up later tonight. The more time I spend driving the Yukon Denali Ultimate, the more I realize the gap and overlap between this and the Escalade actually isn't that much. So in terms of the powertrain, the, the air suspension, the way it drives and feels, 
you get essentially an Escalade with this. Isolation, road noise, all type of stuff is, I think, comparable. So the core fundamental things, Super Cruise, again, the powertrain, some of the tech features are there. When you get the Escalade, I mean, you get the big OLED curved screens, which are truly amazing. And the sound system in Escalade, the AKG, the upgraded one, I like a lot. This one has the Bose system with the speakers and a headrest too, which is cool. I mean, you have massage seats on this too. So it's, it's not quite as fancy as the Escalade, but in the details, the materials, the leather, the trim, the etching, I think it actually beats out the Escalade in certain ways. Now, $97,000, call it effectively $100,000, is still a ton of money for a SUV, but this is a very large SUV. You could have a big family in here. It does have a luxury touches. Super Cruise is pretty good. I mean, panoramic sunroof. There's a lot of nice stuff to it. So this is quite appealing. But then that leads to the question of why would you buy this? I mean, yes, you could save $15,000, $20,000 for us to Escalade, but the Escalade comes with a bit more luxury in the brand. I think it's for somebody who maybe doesn't want that luxury in the brand. They want the nice tech and creature comforts in the presence, but not the attention that driving an Escalade may get. So they have a GMC. To regular people, this may just be a GMC Yukon with grayed out badges, right? People may not know this is a Denali Ultimate and it costs almost six figures. That may be the appeal. Regardless, I'm liking it quite a lot, but I also really, really like the Escalade. Now, if they put the LT4 supercharged V8 in, I don't think they ever would. Imagine this with the Escalade V powertrain. That would be fun. Yukon Denali SS, anyone? At night, this front fascia is pretty badass. Without the ridiculous chrome grille, it looks much more menacing and classy. That little GMC logo light projected on the ground indicates that you can kick underneath the rear bumper and the trunk will open hands-free, which is for sure convenient. We're gonna head back to the office for a bit, actually. Get a workout in, eat dinner, finish up work tonight. Another exciting Friday night for Eddie. No complaints. We do have the side lights that deploy underneath the sideboards, just like in the Escalade. So those are always nice too. Side step, up we go. This thing got remarkably salty this week driving it. Let's go ahead and remote start it. Just double tap. Nice. All right, quick exterior tour. Yukon. Denali. Now there's no ultimate badge on it and it is a trim level. It's not a package. It's the Yukon Ultimate, no, Yukon Denali Ultimate. But it's kind of one of those, if you know, you know, special wheels. The wheels are actually pretty complicated. You got like these little machining lines in there, the two-tone finish, the blacked out GMC badges too. So there's not a single red GMC badge on the exterior of this truck at all. So normally it may just look like a Yukon Denali, which is not a bad thing because Denali has such good uh, brand loyalty. So many people say like, I drive a Denali. Which one? I drive a Denali. I mean, it could be a Sierra, it could be a Yukon. I already complained, but why is that chrome? Why is that so chrome? If it was all Vader chrome, that would look so good. I also think this is the exact same mirror shape as the Escalade. It looks very familiar. <laughs> Got the little camera underneath there for all the surround camera fanciness. 22 inch wheels. And this paint finish is so cool. The front end with that darkened Vader chrome in the badge looks really good. Looks much more rugged and utilitarian compared to the Escalade, which even with like blackened badges and darkened grow everything on a Escalade still looks a little more blingy in my opinion. I don't know how to quantify that exactly, but this just looks a little more professional grade, right? That's, that's a GMC thing. The interior though is truly impressive. From this really nice cross stitching, this leather, has it, the leather itself, you can like see the grain, the wood trim, you can feel the texture there too. That's very nice. The Bose sound system is pretty great too. And the carpets, even the carpets themselves are unique to the ultimate trim. And they have this like stripey texture. The seats also have that really cool cross stitching, the piping, the white stitching. There's like two to three different kinds of stitching and detail across the interior of this truck. We have the coordinates of Mount Denali, ultimate badge there, the Bose speakers and the headrest, and then that topography trim that's all over the interior of this truck. I like that detail. This little badge makes it cool. And even within the badge, you can see some of that topography line artwork on the wood here on this dashboard piece, leather here with more stitching. So again, the details, the materials and details are quite nice. So this is still all leather covering down here. And now that's plastic. 
that's plastic. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I put my phone in there and it's actually quite convenient because uh, I have two phones. So I put one phone there, one phone on a wireless charger. We have second row captain's chairs. Folds down. This is for front and back, I think. It's hard to operate if I'm not sitting on there. Yep, seat slides forward. Pull this lever up. And you can slide the seat front and back. Inside armrest, and it's all covered in that brown leather. They pretty much match the front seats. Not as padded and not with the fancy massage settings, but they are heated. You can control that back here. Second row, two captain's chairs, and then third row. This is not an XL, this is just a regular one. I'll crawl back there, we'll test, right? Six foot three, let's try out the leg room in the third row, I'm stuck. Ow. Okay, oh, I fit, I fit, I have leg room. All right, I actually didn't expect that. I thought I was gonna cram back here. Would I spend a long road trip in here? Absolutely not, pretty please don't make me, but for a short little stint, you can fit plenty of adults in these things. I mean, they're absolutely, Enormous, so I hope so. And yeah, see, I have legroom here, so you could fit two, you could fit three, six foot three people in a row in the Yukon Denali Ultimate. The sunroof will come back here. These screens, headphones, entertainment, just like an Escalade. Wood trim back here too, so the details are definitely nice across the whole cabin. Even the third row is real leather, and even the third row has that Denali topography etching on the leather. Like, that's really good attention to detail, you see? Couple cup holders there, little USB-C port. Not a bad second and third row. Driver's side, we do have a lot of buttons and toggles and little switches on this side. Everything from four wheel drive. Oh, oh, can I lower the air suspension? Close the door. Uh, normal ground clearance. There we go, entry, exit, ground clearance. So we do have adjustable height air suspension, vehicle lowering. Okay, that's nice. And then everything from the cameras to sensors, auto stop, start, lane keep, heads up display controls, headlight controls, trailer stuff, like a lot of buttons there. Steering wheel is pretty standard. GM family do have the Denali badge, Super Cruise sensor, or Super Cruise display, the camera that watches you. I don't love the Prindle, the park, reverse, neutral, drive, low selector. Like this is a toggle. That's a toggle. That's a button. That's a button. Not my favorite. If they're just all buttons, it'd be fine. Ah, I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten used to it in a week. Plenty of buttons here too. This is some glossy piano, piano black trim. I think this is aluminum though. This trim here, this textured, is actual metal. You can hear that. We can do Denali Ultimate ASMR. Are we in entry exit? Uh, I think so. We're in the lowest suspension height now. Oh yeah. That definitely dropped down quite substantially. Yeah. Just like the Escalade. Convenient for getting in and out if you're not super tall. And then let's go to max height. Okay, so it's requesting I go to four wheel drive low to raise vehicle. That's engaging. You see the little blinking icon right there. Nope, forward collision system is unavailable. Yeah. Because we're supposed to be theoretically off roading now. Sure, we'll go off-road and then press that. It goes to ride height clearance and let's go to maximum. See how tall this thing gets. While the truck is raising up uh, 205 miles this week, 17.5 MPG, which is about what I would expect with a mix of highway and city driving and a full-size SUV with a 6.2 liter gas V8. And there we have maximum ride height. I think it's maximum now. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's quite a lot more ground clearance up front. Suspension clearance, whatever you call it. Yep, although I don't know how many people are taking their $100,000 Yukon Denali Ultimate off-roading, you can do it. Wrapping up some final thoughts on the Yukon Denali Ultimate. I have a better understanding of this vehicle now after spending a week living with it. I admit when I first saw it at an early preview with some members of the GMC team at the design studio, I came away just thinking, why not just buy an Escalade, right? I mean, it's so close to an Escalade and the price was pretty expensive too. Now spending a week with it, I think that is the appeal, right? It is essentially an Escalade, but not an Escalade. And let me explain that. You get a lot of the details, the creature comforts, the nice materials, the technology, 
but it's not as ostentatious. There are a lot of people who have considerations of appearances, depending on the business they're in, the industry they're in. They may not want to be shown driving around in a Cadillac, and whereas GMC, to the general public, this is a Yukon. doesn't matter that it's a almost $100,000 Yukon. They don't know it's a Denali Ultimate. And on the other side of that, for GMC, Denali has a tremendous amount of brand equity. I think almost a third of GMC sold are some sort of Denali trim. And then the other big bulk is the new AT4, like the off-road oriented ones. Those two are very important nameplates for GMC. So there was brand loyalty for GMC and uh, a Yukon Denali, and then adding an ultimate trim on just brings those added extras. And I do enjoy all the cool little details, the topography etching on the leather, the Mossad seats, GM Super Cruise, all always love that so great tech features nice luxury features and it's got a pretty good appearance to it too so i've enjoyed my week living with the yukon denali now is this expensive absolutely hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money but you get in today's marketplace right this is essentially a gmc escalade i hope you guys enjoyed this video joining me living a whole week with the Yukon Denali Ultimate. I am off to San Diego tomorrow to go drive something else. I'm trying to massage seats right now and then head off to the gym for a workout tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.